Coach, this is a serious question. If you have someone who's unconscious, instead of having to do CPR and like compressions and putting your mouth on theirs, can't you just like spray them with an inhaler? Why do they call it 7-Up when you only have five fingers? Why do they call it your anterior cruciate ligament when it's in the back of your knee? Coach, if eating eggs is like eating unborn baby chicks, is that like cannibalism? Someone just told me you had a shark. Do you have like an awesome aquarium at your house? Really? Coach, could you get like one of those CEU things to learn how to do an ACL reconstruction? Cause I'd rather have you do it than the doctor. My dad wants to take me fishing this weekend. Like, can you give me any recommendations on how to prevent getting salmonella? Can I keep my cell phone in your fanny pack and then when I come over for water, I can just check it real quick? Coach, you know how when you hear about the stories about a twin resorbing its other twin's fetus while they're in the womb, does that mean that person, like, has extra ligaments and muscles? Is there really a difference between ESTEM and the AED? Coach, have you seen my sunglasses? What's the difference between a break and a fracture? Coach, my mom told me she thinks I have an athlete's foot. That's not the thing where you have to pee on yourself, is it? Coach, I was yelling really loud at the football game on Friday, and now my throat hurts really bad. Could you, like, give me a throat massage? Can you tell my basketball coach that I've been coming into rehab every day because that's where I told him I've been? Coach, is it possible to get that sciatica thing in your arm? Coach. My doctor told me I have chondromalacia. Is that cancer? Coach, is it possible to get jet lag from a really long bus trip? If a new injury is acute, is an old injury obtuse? Is the IT band like a really long meniscus? Can I just take a diuretic in the morning to help get rid of swelling? Coach, if I drank a lot of milk, could I get really pale? Do people get bipolar disorder from doing the contrast bath? Coach, can bald people still get hairline fractures? Coach, I think Lucy's having one of those diabetic attacks. Do you want me to get the EpiPen? Coach, I'm reading this rehab protocol you have for me and you say ICE and then E-S-T-I-M. Does that mean like estimate how much ICE to use? Coach, do tendons take blood away from the heart and then ligaments bring it back? My doctor said I have edema. Is that the same thing that Nemo and his family lived in before the shark attacked? Coach, did they name that Easton setting Russian because Russians were so mean? Guess what? I taught myself how to write with both hands. Does that mean I'm amphibious now? Coach, does heat like do the same thing as ice? Okay, I was in my mom's backyard, and I was just gonna step on a garden hoe to see if it would pop up and hit me in the face like it does in the movies. Well, spoiler alert. So I was boiling these eggs, and the water was boiling, and the timer went off, and so I took them off the little thing, and then I just reached in to grab an egg and take it out, and it freaking burned my hand. How was I to know that it was still gonna be hot? All right, coach, don't make fun of me, but my family has chickens and I like the chickens. And I sometimes feel bad for them because they're cooped up in the chicken coop all day. Is that where coop, like cooped up comes from, chicken coop? Anyway, so I'm feeling bad for the chickens. So I go, I sometimes go into the coop to talk to them. And then yesterday, I was getting back out of the coop and the barbed wire like killed my arm. Like the blood was insane. And I'm just afraid I'm gonna get rabies. Okay, so I was playing tetherball by myself because apparently I have no friends. And I hit the ball really hard and then something captured my attention from somewhere else. And so I looked over for just a second and the ball came and hit me back in the head and I just haven't felt right since. But what happened? 
was I was playing this land-based version of Marco Polo with a few friends, and I was uh, not Marco. So I was running around this like playground with my eyes closed, and there was this hole, and I did obviously didn't see it, and I fell in, and I hurt my knee, like I felt a pop, and like it hurt really bad. I had to, someone had to come over and help me out of the hole, and now it's like swollen and painful, and I can't walk on it. So I need you to look at it. I slipped and fell in the bathtub, and now my back hurts really bad. I was trying to fix a paper jam in my printer, so I stuck my hand up there to get the paper out, and when I tugged on it, it started again, and like, did something to my finger, and it really hurt. Coach. I fell off the treadmill. And I'm pretty sure the video is going viral as we speak. You know how when people have bleeding under their toenail, and you do your magic screw thingy and like you drill a little hole and blood comes out and it feels better well I got something like that over the break and um, I tried to do that on myself and so I got this rusty screw from the garage and well let's just say it got infected <sighs> coach I was sword fighting with a friend with foam rollers and then the cooler fell on me Coach, can you take my finger? I heard it because I just finished the most intense game of rock, scissors, paper ever. So me and a friend were like doing that dirty dancing lift scene and I fell. I was doing my old gymnastics routine, balance beam routine on the little half foam roller and it ended ugly. So me and some friends went to the lake and I was swimming and like at the bottom there was something shiny and it caught my attention so I reached out to grab it and it cut me really bad. Now I'm afraid it's infected. Coach, I put alcohol in my contacts case instead of contact solution. Ah. You need the scissors? Why are you tired, Coach? I got way more stuff on my plate than you do. So, something happened to the stim machine. I mean, I was drinking coffee by it, but um, I swear I didn't touch it. Hey, so I'm just gonna chill in here on one of your treatment tables for nothing, for like 10 minutes while they do the warm up outside because I really don't wanna do that. Please don't be angry, but I just used the rest of the power flex that we have to wrap Johnny to one of the treatment tables because he was really annoying me. And um Yeah, so now we're out of power flex. Somebody I'm not going to mention any names, especially since there's no one else in the training room. But someone whose name shall remain anonymous spilt protein powder. All over your office floor. Oh, these are your sunflower seeds? Well, they were in the med kit, so I thought they were for the athletes. Hey, toss me the medicine ball. Make them away downtown, walking fast, faces passing and homebound.
workout coach. Coach, I took the eye test today. My IQ is a 20 out of 20. High five. Coach, if you rub your ear like this, it sounds like Pac-Man. Try it. So I cut my hand earlier and I rubbed some Biofreeze on it to try and make it feel better. And now it's way worse. Gotta get this wound clean, don't wanna get diabetes, you know what I'm saying? Yo coach, the back of my bicep hurts. Coach, I ain't cut out for track. Can you imagine me in those Daisy Duke uniforms? I ain't about that life. I know the best place to hide the next lightning storm. Center of the football field surrounded by rubber pellets and I got my rubber shoes on. Just gotta take my helmet off and I'm good. I sprayed myself in the face with my water bottle and I forgot that it was Gatorade. Now my face is all sticky. Coach, I held in a sneeze. Now I can't move my neck. Don't mock me. The color of pre-wrap directly affects how I play. Look good, feel good, play good. You know what I'm saying? Black pre-wrap means I'm gonna beast it up and I'm gonna kick their butt. Blue pre-wrap, meh. So, in my mind, I'm not concussed, but my brain tells another story. Would you be mad if um, I tried a little experiment and put an East End pad on my forehead and another one on my toes and see what happens? Hey coach, just thought I'd get some ironing in for my uniforms to make me look good for my games, right? Ah! It's a good thing I'm in the training room, right? <laughs> okay, coach, here's what happened. I was changing light bulbs in my house, trying to be, you know, helpful. Nobody told me in all my years of life that different light bulbs belong to different lamps. So I just figured grab a light bulb, put it in the lamp, and let there be light, you know? Well, I grabbed a light bulb from the garage, took it, to the dead lamp, put it in the socket, and I just received the shock of my life. Now I'm, I'm wondering if I'm gonna get like some sort of Spider-Man thing. That would be awesome. <clears throat> All right, I was in the weight room and I was trying to make my neck look big. You know how all those bodybuilders have like bulging necks? So I wrapped the thing around my forehead and I was trying to do like little neck exercises. It didn't work out so well, coach. You gotta let me know I shouldn't be doing these things. Coach, can using dandruff shampoo when you don't actually have dandruff end up giving you dandruff? Please tell me you're joking. Coach, where does second skin come from? Ew. Coach, can you cut the tape off for me? Never mind, I can do it myself. Coach, what happened to Tommy? Hip of what? He broke his hip? Coach, no one had plantar fasciitis until I had it. I think it might be contagious. Turf toe's contagious? Coach, I've been eating a ton of carrots and my eyesight hasn't gotten any better. Crap. Excellent Gatorade today, Coach. Uh -uh. I knew graduating was going to pay off. Starbucks gift cards. Seriously, I knew it was too good to be true. So Kenny just told me that mole skin is made from the real skin of moles. That's ridiculous, right? That's so sad and terrible. How do you live with yourself? 
Coach, can you rub some of that Febreze on my shoulder? Coach, the doctor thinks I broke my scaffold right here. Coach, Johnny's outside having an asthma attack and he's asking for his nebulous. Coach, can we skip the pyrotechnic exercises today? Am I getting stem cell treatment today? My doctor told me I had a salt and pepper fracture. Do you know what that is? Coach, the ravioli on my uh, ankles hurt. The doc said I have a sinful Moses sprain. You tore your ACL? <laughs> well, I tore my ACL, NCL, and meniscus. You can't remember the last play from your concussion? I can't remember the entire game. You sprained your ankle? <laughs> That's a bummer. I tore my hamstring. You broke your fibula? <laughs> Try breaking your fibula and tibia at the same time. That sucks. You sprained both your ankles at the same time? Well, I broke my ankle, tore my ACL, fractured my femur, dislocated my hip, dislocated my elbow, separated my shoulder, strained my neck, and got a concussion all at the same time. Can you just come with me to college and take care of me? I shaved my legs today just for Easton. I'm really sorry my feet smell so bad, but at least you tape super fast. So don't tell him I said this, but Coach Peterson could use some wrinkle remover. <laughs> Am I right? Coach, whoever thought wearing spandex as an article of clothing must have been concussed. Am I right? Track is like the people version of NASCAR. I only watch to see crashes. So I wore khakis to an interview today. I thought of you. I made my own ice bag today and it was nice and flat. You'd be proud. Coach, if one more person screams in this training room, I'm gonna lose my mind. I got this. <laughs> I got my need a 90 today. We had to write a paper today in class about inspiring people. I wrote mine about you. So I decided I want to study sports medicine in college, mainly because of you. I really wish I could have you walk me on senior night because you're basically my second mom. Coach, I just wanted to say thanks for helping me out. You've made being injured just a little less miserable. So my mom was talking to me the other day. She referred to you as trainer. I was like, nuh-uh, mom. It's athletic trainer. I got your back.